Hello, this is Geotech Lan, and today I'll be using the Ubuntu Touch OS. I did a video on this last time, but there's a lot more to cover here. So, the one big thing I didn't really show off last time was like, how do you actually download these apps? Does Ubuntu Touch have their own store? Well, they do, they actually have the open store which is right here so pretty much this is where you get all the apps here and lately there's been a lot of really cool apps here but yeah I mean you could download an app here let's see if there's any uh, cool new games here and I pretty much download every almost every game that comes out here I guess we could download Sudoku why not just so you guys can experience what it's like to download an app here. That's downloading and let's open that up. So this is Sudoku. I can type in a number I guess. Um, I'm not really good at this so but that, this gives you a general idea of how this particular game works and how the installation process is for this. So that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna actually be showing a few apps. I've been downloading it on here. So one of my new favorites is, uh, I could actually play Solitaire on this here. You have to play it like this. Yeah, this is pretty much a full-fledged solitaire game. It works beautifully here. It's pretty addicting. I'll, I'll be playing it every now and then here. Uh, it looks beautiful. It runs without any issues or glitches. So now you can, uh, it's definitely a very addicting here. But yeah, and you can play that. And not to close out of this. And I guess there's this other game too that got somewhat a recent update. Yeah, it's called Balls 2. It should be easy to remember. It's actually a pretty, pretty fun game here. I think it's supposed to be like Candy Crush. I'm not even sure. I honestly rarely if any I don't think I've ever played Candy Crush um, yeah this game runs and works pretty good looks very nice and let's see what else I've got here oh and there's actually a Facebook app as well let me load that up for you here yeah sale book so that's pretty cool Last time I was saying that there was no um, Facebook web app. There was two of them. They weren't working too well. But now we've got one. So that's a sale book. And it works pretty darn good. It feels just like the how I browse on mobile on my Android phone using Chrome. It looks really nice here. So we've got a fully functioning Facebook app now. And there's also another game that was released. It's actually really fun. So you gotta like move this character to the to the goal post, you could change color. Uh, gotta restart. There you go. All right, we're out of ink. Um, this game's really fun. You pretty much gotta make them fall into the goal posts here. Look, now I gotta use black. Cause it's probably a bad level to play. There's also a Paddle Warrior recently released. And again, it looks good. It looks 
just like an Android game. Nice music. Nice. I'm terrible at this game, of course. So yeah, I mean, uh, I'm actually really happy that lots of original apps, lots of original Ubuntu Touch apps are coming out. And again, they're not they're not too far off from from being Android quality. So that's a really good sign here. Oh, and I guess there's Pac-Man. There's no sound, I think. I honestly thought there was. Let's go to the menu. I guess there isn't. But other than that, I think that's pretty much all the new apps here. I mean, there's been updates to apps, but those are the main ones. Oh, and I guess we now have a signal app. Um, and it's got the logo and everything. I don't think it's made by signal. It's made by like a contributor, but it works pretty good. And I don't think I played this game before. I think I did try playing it and it's crazy difficult. It's like Flappy Bird. So again, just like Android. Android quality games. Uh, the last thing I do want to show you is just how apps are usually updated. All right, guys, before that, I'll show you what version I'm running. I'm running Ubuntu 15.04, release candidate three. Oh look, Paddle Warriors got an update, so that's fun. I can see the logs here. Let me zoom in here. It tells you the changes there, so that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and update that. So the update process is pretty straightforward. No surprises here. And usually when I check this, if I want updates again to the to either the OS or to apps. So yep, those are pretty much the new apps. Uh, there's probably a lot more I have that have been released that I haven't covered, but I'll be tuning out and hopefully there's gonna be a lot more apps. So there you guys have it. There's gonna be a lot more apps on the way. And when a few apps get posted on here, I'll probably do another video and kind of just show you what's new on Ubuntu Touch. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.